idea why the parasite has showed up again. I thought we took kiss. Select the mission on your iDroid. Boss, let's go over the situation again. We've got another parasite outbreak in the laboratory on the quarantine platform. What is this? No idea.
prevented symptoms during the last epidemic. The parasites lodge in the victim's throat, forming a mating pair. But the Volbachia turns the male to female. Two females can neither copulate nor lay eggs. That's why the rescue team went in with more Wabakia. But the outbreak still isn't under control. They should not be capable of laying eggs. Yet, we have a new outbreak. And the Wolbachia have no effect. I pray this is not some new strain. If it is, then someone may have brought it here. If there's a spy running around. For now, we must focus on discerning the outbreak mechanism. The cases show another alarming new development. It is now even more difficult to tell who is infected. The eggs propagate out of sight. No external symptoms. One who appears healthy may be dying on the inside. What the hell happened in there? Boss, I still can't raise the rescue team I sent in. We know how to proceed if we just knew how to ID the symptoms. Finding that out is part of your job in there. Snake. We've just had a transmission from inside. Here's the audio. Uh, it all makes uh, sense now. Uh, I... Uh, I win. Where's it coming from? Unknown. It cut off before we could get a fix. It all makes sense. Think he means the parasite? No way to know. But right now, that's all we've got. Hopefully he can tell us something. We'll have to close the tent behind you, boss. Don't think the infection's airborne, but... Find the source of that transmission, boss. Find our man. You never know. What is it? Something sweet. I can smell it even through the mask. The rescue team reported that too. Said it smelled like ripe fruit. We cannot allow the infection to spread. If anyone shows symptoms, you must put them out of their misery. That includes me.
Musk. He's with the rescue team. Met the guy from before. Was that more of the message? We'll try to clean it up. What the hell were you thinking? Mission failed. Search the building and locate whoever sent that transmission. Guess the parasites killed him. Don't touch him. He's covered in blood. Stay back! Stay back! Try to clean it up.
What the hell happened? At least you're okay. What's going on? I, I win. I'm no snail. Damn it. So he sent the transmission. Seems like he had a way of IDing who's symptomatic. But what was he trying to say? Snail. Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. Do not let anyone showing symptoms get outside. As infection progresses, it triggers an overwhelming urge to get out in the open. That's the parasite controlling them. Once outside, the birds will feed on infected bodies, spreading the parasite on land. You 
just killed your own... Emmerich, what the hell? Nobody asked for your opinion. You expect me to just stand by and watch this?
survivor. Unlock the door. Wait. I... I don't think I made it after all. But... you just checked him. Could it have progressed this quickly? Boss, take another look at him with the goggles. Nothing we could have done for them. We're all grateful, boss.
It's your fault! They're dead because of you! What? He's right. I killed them with my own hands. They were on your side! I'm on your side! And you turned them all to ashes! They wanted you to shoot. It was that or be burned alive. Come on. Let's get this over with. Wait. Scatter your sorrow to the heartless sea. Bearing them at sea. What then? We'll make diamonds from their ashes. Take them into battle with us. A shining light to our brothers in arms, even in death. I don't know how you do it. I... All I could do was obsess over revenge. Doubting my comrades along the way. But even after all we've accomplished, the phantom pain never let up. If anything, it just got worse. But you understood that from the start, didn't you? From the moment you opened your eyes in that hospital, you knew it wouldn't go away. That you've been fighting the pain and confronting your phantoms the whole time. Knowing full well the battle would never end, not till the day you die. I respect that now, more than ever. It's an honor and a privilege, Big Boss. Not alone. 
everyone who's infected, we've all come up here wanting to get outside. I know full well I mustn't leave, given the possibility I'm infected. Yet, I can't contain this urge I feel inside me, like the alcoholic who tries to make any excuse for one more drink. Every step I took up those stairs filled me with this sense of bliss. I still have all my wits about me. It took no time at all to rewire the electronic lock and open the emergency exit. Then, just as I was about to set foot outside, I finally realized what was going on. This desire for freedom is not my own, but that of the vocal cord parasites inside me. They want the ravens to feed on us, pecking us to death, attracted by these sweet secretions. They have mutated to facilitate this. The sweet smell is powerful enough to attract even a species with such a weak nose. So, before the parasites take complete control, I must. Most of the staff in here are already infected. At least, everyone I've looked at is. Infection with this parasite. I have modified a pair of night vision goggles to react only to this temperature range. With these goggles, you can identify who is infected. Other infected will, like me, feel compelled to make it outside. If the ravens get their meal, they'll head for land next. That cannot be allowed to happen.
Snake? She's been acting differently lately. Before, she'd respond to conversation. Just as long as it didn't conflict with her timeline. But now, nothing gets a reaction from her. What happened? No idea. Well, Miller did go and tell her that Skullface is dead. If anyone should want revenge against him, it would be her. But it's not exactly like an angel of peace to cheer for someone's death. Now is it? There. Take a look at this, too. See it? Right there. The wound is open. Yeah. It was all closed up, and then it went back to this. But why? The medic has no idea how it happened. He figures it must have been self-inflicted. 